you know, every year fans come from all over Texas and all over the world to see the Buddy Holly statue downtown. They sure do, but sometime last week they discovered someone actually vandalized the landmark. KMAX Laura Lawhead joins us now with a look at what happened and what the city has to say about it. Yeah, Lauren and Brian, any Buddy Holly fan worth their salt knows just how important his statue on the West Texas Hall of Fame is to folks here in Holly's hometown. But what the vandal or vandals did is not what you'd expect when you typically think of graffiti. It just makes you wonder why. Why can't people just leave things alone? One of the hallmarks of the Hub City is the likeness of Lubbock legend Buddy Holly, frozen in eight foot five inches of bronze. But someone tried to change it by writing or carving the word Jesus and an image of a cross on Buddy's guitar. It's disrespectful to the property, to the workers who have to work to clean it, to the fans that come to town to see it. They were made with some sort of wax pencil or paint, and the city says whatever that substance is, it's made them especially difficult to take off the bronze without damaging it. Over the summer, Noble says someone wrote a similar message with a similar substance on the classic Buddy Holly black rimmed glasses. That cleanup process was expensive, and they still haven't gotten it off fully. Respect our art, respect our buildings, respect your community, because this is yours too. Don't, don't mess with Texas, don't mess with Buddy. Over the years, people have also broken off the tuning keys on Buddy's guitar. So this isn't the first time he's been vandalized, but the city hopes it's the last. It just makes the city look bad and the citizens if someone is traveling all the way here to see that and it's been defaced somehow or defiled. The city told me they're still working on removing the graffiti from the guitar right now. And while they speculated maybe whoever did this had a good intent in their mind, no matter what you write on one of the city's art installations, it is still vandalism.